What's going on, YouTube family? Check this out. There's a freaking turkey on top of my roof. That's one of four. The other four or three are on the other side of that rooftop there. I don't know what these guys are thinking, but they need to get the hell off my roof. They're going to break through my screen room. Anyways, that's just some weirdness for today. Hope you're doing all right. I've got another question uh, that came in that I want to address for all of you folks because I think it's an important one. It's about money. How much am I going to make working in the IT field? Legitimate question, of course, because that's an important one as we're looking at our career paths and deciding on which way we want to go. And so I want to get this one out there for everybody that's, that's curious. And uh, so anyways, here's the deal. The, the salary ranges, and by the way, I'm speaking for the United States only. I, I don't know anything about salaries in, in other parts of the world, so I'm sorry if you're, you're from somewhere else. Um, you'll just have to do some of your own uh, research where you're at. But uh, for, for, for the United States people, it's, it, there's a, a lot of different variables when it comes to looking at salaries in the IT field, okay? It depends on location, where you're at. It depends on your experience. It depends on your education. It depends on the size of the company. It uh, depends on how good your resume looks. It depends on the job role. So there's all these different things that, that make up salary ranges. But for the most part, here's what we can look at, okay? The, 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 the low range for those that are just getting started in entry-level jobs, say like a help desk type job or desktop support, we could safely say that they're probably starting around the $30,000 range, okay? It goes from about 30 all the way up to probably 200. That's, that's like going to be the most elite of the folks in the industry, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But on average, for people that are doing like network administration, systems administration, server administration, SQL uh, database administration, exchange administrators, which is basically email, um, those types of roles are the most popular, you know, computer analyst, that type of stuff. In most of the big metropolitan cities, with the exception of New York City and San Francisco, just because it's outrageous to live there, you're probably going to be in the sixty to eighty, eighty-five thousand dollar range. Okay, in San Francisco and New York, for those same jobs, you're probably at about a hundred, maybe one ten, something like that. But that's about the average for most of the jobs in IT. Okay, now. The ones that are going to pay the most are going to be the application and software designers, web development, and some of the higher end Cisco guys that are doing that, that have like a CCIE, which is the top level certification and one of the most difficult exams to pass. There's not many of them in the world. Those people can make some big, big money. Okay, but for 99% of the people in IT, you're going to be just shy of $100,000 a year, uh, depending on where you're at. You might be, you might get lucky and 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 get closer to 100,000 as as being an administrator, but uh, that's that's going to be about the average. And again, it just depends on the company size. Some of the smaller companies might not have the budget to pay that much, so. That's one of the variables to consider. And so that's really it, okay? Um, don't take these numbers, don't quote me, because I am no expert in that area. I'm giving you what I have seen over the past 16 years of my experience, what I've seen you know, on the job postings, just like you have access to, what I know as, as part of working inside of it. Um, so. Do your own due diligence and research. And so that's my disclaimer on that. But uh, hopefully that helps you out and gives you an idea at least. And so if this is your first video that you're watching of me, I want to welcome you here. Welcome you to this community. Go ahead and watch some of the other videos. Make sure you subscribe as well. And if you haven't already, for anybody that's 
been watching my videos, click the link below and go get my resource guide. Um, get on my email list so we can communicate and give you some good stuff. And hopefully you're having a freaking awesome day. I wish you lots of luck. We'll talk to you soon. Leave the comments below. Answer me anything. and Ask me anything you want. I'll do my best. See ya.